Hey everybody, welcome to Rush Reality, my name is Sam. Now there comes a time when you've been playing enough VR games that you start to say, wouldn't it be great if? Wouldn't it be great if this game did that? Wouldn't it be great if somebody made this? Well, why don't we be that somebody and see if we can make the game we're dreaming of? Today, I'm gonna to be getting stuck into Unreal Engine and seeing if a beginner can make a VR game. Now stick with me if you wanna check it out. I'm gonna talk you through each step as I go. So a couple of steps before you kick off. First of all, you want to connect your VR headset to the PC. Then you want to launch Steam VR. Now we're not going to be doing anything on the headset for a little while, but you need it to be running if you're going to want to preview the game on your headset at any point. So get it running before you launch Unreal Engine. Then you want to go over to Unreal Engine and you get this little page when you click to create a new project. So we're going to be doing a game. So let's click game. Next. Then you get a few templates here. Now these are really useful. So this is Unreal Engine doing a lot of the hard work for you. Obviously we're creating a VR game, so we're gonna click onto virtual reality over here. We click onto next. We get the options of starter content. Now starter content is really useful, particularly when you want to just have a little play to jump in and there's nothing specific that you're trying to achieve straight away. So they're gonna give you some assets already built in. So we're gonna use that. So with starter content, call it anything sensible for the sake of this. Create project. Then sit back and wait while the PC does a bit of thinking. And we're in. Because we've chosen starter content, we dropped into this little box that is already pre populated with a few very useful things. Now, a few little tips to help yourself navigate around. So, if you use the uh, left click, you sort of pan around so you can just see around you. But if you use right click, you can sort of change where you're actually viewing. Now, if you hold down on the right click, you can use WASD to actually move around. Really, really useful, really fluid. If you play any games, you'll be used to that in no time at all. So that is showing you around the space. When you're holding that right click, if you press Q and E, you move up and down. So if we just go up, there's a little bird's eye view of our little starter project down there. So again, hit Q, come back down to that. So like I say, I'm no expert on this. I've just watched a couple of quick tutorials to get an idea of what we can do. Now I play a lot of shooters and we have couple of guns locked and loaded. There's a few obstacles around the space but it looks a little boring. So let's see what we can do. When you're working in Unreal Engine you're not creating one executable file, you're actually creating a group of folders. So if we look down at this little content browser here, this is everything that is set up in our space. Now the VR template as I say is doing a lot of the work for us. So we've got haptics built in, we've got textures, we've got materials, we've got blueprints, we've got audio. Um, VR Spectator is this little camera up here. So that's the sort of camera eye view of the of the space. Starter content, all these sort of materials and things that we've got spaced around or able to be used. Geometry and the meshes and things around us. Um, got the weapons and there we are. So what can we do? Move into that starter content. We've got some props we can play with. If we create a little series of obstacles that we can have a bit of fun with. Got some stairs here. Oh, it's just just adjacent to the wall. When you place an object down, you get this, this little axis. These are three directions that you can move the object around in. So this just butts it up against the wall. And we can bring out a second one. Again, we'll butt that against the wall. Now, I want to move it up so we've got a sort of chain of stairs. That'll give us a little idea of something we could move along. Anything they've placed here is, is movable for us. I don't think these blocks are doing much for me. So let's get that out of the way. I might even get rid of this one completely if I can. Yeah, let's click on that and delete. We've got some interesting things we can place around. So some rocks, a little scenic space at the back there. Now this little thing here, that's what's known as the pawn. That's where our actual player will be. In a standard game on Unreal Engine, you might see that a little bit higher and it, it would be sort of spaced out as if you're looking out. But for VR games, they're trying to optimize for where the floor level is. So that is sort of placed dead on the floor. So if we were just to play the scene, we'd be looking straight through the floor there. So as we get to understand the actual physics of what they've given us here, we need to look at the room. So as we look up, that little sun there, that's our main directional light. You can see all the sort of shadows are driven by that up in the air. Also got this here, this is a reflective subject. That is what's creating a bit of a bit of contrast there. As we move into the second room, we've got a couple of smaller lights. 
So this is a nice dark space because it hasn't got that main light coming down. A couple of little objects that are light in themselves. That gives us a nice little bit of contrast in this room. A little bit of dark space to play with. They've, they've given us a few props that kind of lean towards a kind of office or dining experience. So maybe we can set something up like that. Bit of table, let's place that there. A couple of chairs. Now obviously Unreal Engine isn't limited to these props you're seeing here. These are just things for you to play with before you import your own assets or things from the store. So I can pivot that like that, but if I want to turn it into the table, if you go over to the right hand side here, you've got this little transform section, got this rotation. I just want to point that in towards the table. And then I'm going to go back down, kind of position that just up in the corner there. Obviously we need a, need a second chair. Yeah, back to that rotation, turn it the opposite way, that up to the back, and then position that in the corner. Nice little, nice little setup there, really quick and easy to do. Now we're not limited by, by the, even the prop styles here, anything we've got around this scene we can adapt and play with. So if we click on this, this uh, table here in the middle, if we want to change its scale, so maybe we want to make that wider, make it more of, more of a sort of conference style table, really easy to do. If you want to turn it into a coffee table, shrink it, shrink it right down, drop it right low, and there. And as soon as you've done something you don't want to do, you can rely on the classic Control Z, pop it back to what you started with originally. There's plenty to play with there. Maybe you want a little doorway into an office itself here. Let's grab that door asset, pop it on. Then how are we going to close this off? Shapes, We've got a plane. Pull that there, maybe I want to rotate that up like that. Raise it, bring it back in line with the door, and close it off. Play the scale to get that really, really lined up. Raise it up there. So we've got that, I'm gonna move this out of the way. So we've got this other side of this door. I would like to just copy this, but we'll build in another. Got that there, rotate it up again. Of course, if you want a if you want that perfect rotation, just pop it in. So 90 degrees. That's easier, isn't it? Right, get that in line with this side of the doorway. Increase that scale. Nicely boxed in there. Ah, there's two of them. That's what was looking funny there. So I did manage to copy that earlier. This one. There we go. Now on this actual plane, I just want to colour this grey to suit the current walls. Let's get this one out of the way and see if we can close this room in. So again, I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to place that plane there. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees to get it straight. Rotate it around 90. And line it up. Now for scale, obviously we don't need to multiply these, we can just do one. box room there. Obviously that has just been thrown together but it gives you a rough idea of what I'm doing. Now when you make changes before you can really get things to, to work properly you need to build it. So if you press this build button, allow access or whatever pops up, just let that happen. Should be good to go. Now we just want to see if we've actually managed to do anything here and if it's going to run. So next to play, if you just press play it will play you into that scene like we had earlier as if it's a standard game so don't want to do that. Next to play, you've got VR preview. Press that. Then, if all has gone to plan, oh wow. Wow, it has gone to it has gone to plan. <laughs> so I'm I'm in and I'm move I'm moving. So They've actually bound the controllers the opposite of... Yeah, so, so we're turning with the left stick. And then our, our locomotion has been taken care of with teleport with the right. Can I pick things up? I can pick things up. So we've got a proper gun there. Right, so I've got my gun. I have to say, the gun looks fantastic. Can't stabilise it, but can use each hand. Can we fire? We can! Look at that! That is fantastic. So 
we are in our space. Now, can we do two, both guns at once? We can. We're a Kimbo. Right, obviously a lot of work to do. It's just firing this little ball texture. No bullets, no sprays, and obviously we've got no opposition to use it on. But we're going. Can we use the uh, stairway I built? We can. I'd like some standard movement, so at the minute it's just teleport. Which is fine, but we, we'd have to work a way to figure that. Can I open my door? Right, no, so the door is just a texture as it stands. Can I go in my office? I can. <laughs> so, right, so this is the little, little office room we put together. Let's go check out the darkest space out there. You hear the crackling of that fire in the middle. I didn't realise that was what that was. Those, those blocks are supposed to be a fire. Right, okay. Can move around with the guns. Cool with that fire lighting coming off there. Look at these rocks we dropped down. They look alright, so there's a lot you could do with that to make something quite impressive, I should think, if you had a bit of a play. There's a lot of potential. I'm sure it's going to take a long time to make anything interesting, but I'm going to have a, going to have a good play in this. So we're going to call it there for today, but if this has interested you and you'd like to see where this could go, then let me know and we'll make a little series out of it. We'll see what we can really do in this program. Thank you very much for sticking with me. If you've enjoyed this video, then do me a favour, press the like button. If you want to see more content like this in the future, then a sub to the channel would be awesome. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Goodbye.